in this commit, I'm going to make it so, well, first I'm going to uh, extract some more things out just to tidy up the code a little bit. Uh, I'm also going to make each of these questions fade out once you've gotten it correct. So let's see, I'm going to say, um, well, first off, I mentioned that I'm going to extract some things out. So what I don't like is these two guys right here. Uh, I mean, it doesn't take me very long to figure out that this is light green and this is light red, but I don't have time for not very long, so I'm going to make it even faster. I'm going to make it read a little bit better. I'm going to make color good. That's going to be this AFA. And I'm going to make color bad. And that's going to be this FAA. And now in here, I can just do color good and color bad. And I like that because it makes my code a little bit easier to read. There we go. Color good, color bad, still working just fine. I'm also going to say that when they get the answer correct, so down here in color good, then I'm going to have this element fade out. Um, but the problem is if I just do L dot fade out, well, check out what happens. So if I do nine, nothing happens. If I do 10, which is the correct answer, then only the input fades out. I don't want only the input to fade out. I want this entire element right here, this entire question to fade out. That's the H2. The input is inside the H2. So what I want to actually fade out is the parent element of this input. Conveniently with jQuery, we can simply say L dot parent dot fade out. To make things a little bit more semantic, I'm going to remind myself that instead of this L just being any old element, it's an input. So I'm going to replace all this with input. And now I'm keeping my code still very easy to read. So if I go in here and get 8, it's incorrect. If I do 7, now the entire thing fades out. The parent of the input element, the parent of the input element fades out. So I will say that the problem fades out when guessed correctly.